very interesting team to keep an eye on in the SEC to the Kentucky Wildcats. They haven't been bowl eligible since 2010. Got close, real close last year, as you can see. Lost some tight ball games. The sign of a good team is winning those games. Stoops, like all of his brothers, has a good defensive background, but he's going to have to replace quarterback Patrick Tolles. He left for Boston College. They do have a kid named Drew Barker on the way, who we're going to talk about here in just a moment with Coach. And the Wildcats do bring back Stanley Boom Williams, who rushed for 855 yards last season. But they're going to need a complete effort, offense and defense, to finally be bowl eligible for Coach. And much like all the coaches we've had here this week, there are no lack of storylines with the Kentucky Wildcats either. Mark Stoops is our head coach. He's joining us here on Sports. I'm going to break the code here. I'm actually a huge fan of you. I love your energy. And I remember following you guys closely. I remember a couple years ago, you were 5-1. and one. Yeah. And I thought to myself, they're going to break through, yeah. and they're going to make a bowl. Yeah. It didn't work out that year. You're entering year four. You're still looking for that first bowl appearance. The recruiting has been terrific. You cleaned up in state really well. Is it bowl or bust? I mean, this is the SEC. You've been right on the precipice. Yeah, I've been hesitant to talk about that the past couple of years because I didn't know if we were quite ready for that. I do feel like we have the pieces in place okay. this year. I really do. I, I have a lot of confidence in what our team have done. We put the work in. I feel great with the coaching staff, and, and it's time. But one other state that's really, really important to you, and we actually talked about this a couple of years ago, uh, is Ohio. Yeah. Uh, it's an obvious reason for you, but for our audience, why is Ohio so important to the head football coach at Kentucky? Well, it, it's so close to us in proximity. You know, we're the we're the furthest school north to, to play in the SEC. We're so close to to Ohio. If you really look at Southern Ohio, it's right across the border there. We got a, a great recruit in Drew Barker uh, a few years ago that'll start a quarterback for us this year. But he's he's ten minutes away from Cincinnati. So uh, Southern Ohio is so close to us. Certainly, my roots go back to Ohio. Yes. My father was a, a high school coach there. My brother coached football there for a long time. Of course, all of us played. So uh, we. Still still have quite a few contacts in Ohio, and I know the quality of football that's played in Ohio. I want to talk a little bit about Drew Barker, who you mentioned. Started toward the end of last year, eased him in there a little bit. I mean, there's been some talk in Kentucky. If you're old enough to remember Tim Couch, we've got a lot of younger viewers, but if you're old enough to remember Tim Couch, there's a lot of people that think this guy's got some ability like that. He's found a little bit of trouble off the field. Young guys, it's going to happen, but what is the expectation level for this guy? You named him the starter in spring, and yeah. there's a lot of people waiting to see this guy. Well, I named him the starter right now because he's prepared he's ready to do that he's put the time in he's done the things necessary off the field in particular you talked about that he's really grown and matured a great deal he, he's done very well he's done exceptional in school the past couple semesters uh, he's taken care of business off the field on the field he's been a great leader he always has the talent uh, but but it's his time. He's put in the work, and uh, I'm excited to see him play. Last couple of things. Speaking of excitement, your brother at Arizona went to three bowl games. Mm -hmm. Your other brother, Bob, of course, has won the national championship. What would it be like, never mind just the bowl or bust thing, but, you know, Bob's been to the pinnacle. Mike's done a really nice yeah. job in the Pac-12 when he was there. Yeah. What would it be like just for you to say, to stand on the sideline, put on the headset as a head coach, in a bowl game, personal satisfaction. It, it most definitely would mean a great deal. There, there's no getting around that because I think that great personal satisfaction that you would have at that time, but more importantly, the people of Kentucky have been starving for that. Our administration has invested so much. You know, we have a great coaching staff, renovated stadium. We're days away from moving into a brand new state-of-the-art football facility. There's a lot of people, when I took that job, I said there's a lot of people that need to buy in for us to be successful. Successful. Right. When you have the power of Kentucky basketball available to you, yeah. you would be foolish to not use that because Cal seems like such a great guy for another coach to be able to rally around. What has he been able to do with Kentucky basketball and its R and its power? to help Kentucky football? Yeah, that's a great question. It's been nothing but help us. Uh, Coach Cal grew up in, in the same region I did. He's yeah. from Pittsburgh. I'm from Youngstown. We're not very far away. He, he's embraced myself and my staff and helped us, and uh, he's always good. He, we love bringing recruits over and visit with them, and there's not a better venue uh, that you can go to than Rupp Arena in December or January. Oh, yeah. So when we have our unofficial visits or we have official visits and, and we take them to that environment, they see that passion 
passion and that energy from that fan base. And as just as you mentioned with the, the attendance of the spring game and the attendance at, in our building, the people are starving for successful football in Kentucky. They support all programs. We embrace the history of, of basketball and Coach Cow and, and what he means to our state. And it does nothing but help us. They say the SEC East is wide open every single year.